people sometimes ask me um, why I became an anarchist communist. Uh, I, well, I've been an anarchist communist for a long time, since 1966. So I think I have to put all of this in context. And I think it goes back to the, um, the post-World War II period, a period of um, what I would call class truce. But, and there was also the uh, influence of the Communist Party. But uh, the, the events of Hungary 1956 changed all, I, all of that. I mean, I was only eight years old at the time. Um, but seeing it on the television profoundly affected me. Um, what also was going on was the uh, campaign for nuclear disarmament and the Committee of 100, which is the direct action wing of the anti-war movement. And um, what happened was that you got the start of radicalisation of, of youth. Um, you were influenced by what was going on around the world. You got the anti-apartheid struggles in South Africa, the civil rights movement in America. Um, these all had an influence. There's also things, also other things going on, like the Provo movement in in Holland. So the the Tories have been in in power for 13 years, and Harold Macmillan, the leader of the uh, Conservative Party, talked about how we'd never had it so good, and how the working class was uh, increasingly embourgeoisified, and how you know class truce was reigning, and you. Know, you know, the, the old left um, used that as an excuse for the, the apathy that, that, that reigned. What happened was, I think, that a lot of people started having faith in the election of the Labour Party under Harold Wilson. So in some ways, it's similar to what's going on today, what went on today with um, um, Corbynism. Um, a lot of young people thought we could uh, usher in a new radical era with the Harold Wilson government. You've got to remember the the the, the Wilson government uh, had a far uh, more radical program than anything uh, Corbyn put forward. I mean, it was mild in comparison. Um, but as with all Labour governments, people um, you know uh, had a high hope. They quickly became. Uh, disillusioned and I was one of those uh, young people who was in in that uh, number I mean I was a uh, 14 I think it was at the time of uh, of the Wilson government coming to power which is 1964 and um, I joined the Labour Party Young Socialists but my, my increasing disillusionment moved me further to the left so I I dabbled a bit with the Young Communist League, but I always had um, doubts about communism, the way I saw it, you know, communism as it existed, was uh, as I thought it existed within the Soviet Union and its satellites and, and China. You know, I, I, I was drawn to the idea of communism, but um, I was very wary about its actual application. Um, but what changed uh, my mind ab about all this, moving the, the direction of, of anarchist communism, was actually going to the public library and getting some books out on, on anarchism. And, uh, and then uh, you know, I started reading about anarchist communism yeah, in these books. I think one of them was James Joel's The Anarchist. Not a very good book, really. But nevertheless, it explains the idea of anarchist communism as as developed by uh, Peter Kropotkin and uh, Erico Malatesta, people like that. And it, and it chimed completely with what I thought, you know, if you could have communism and freedom, you know, uh, a, a non-status form of communism. And, well, since those days, which is what, 1966? I've been an anarchist communist, uh, a militant anarchist communist who, who, who's constantly tried to advance the, uh, the, its ideas, the ideas of anarchist communists. Uh, I'm becoming more and more convinced that anarchist communism is the only solution to the very grave problems facing the human race uh, with the environmental crisis.
Um, I'd always counted myself as an uh, anarchist communist who was um, uh, concerned by the environment. So the early writings of um, Murray Bookchin, when he was an anarchist communist, influenced me. Um, I've been through various anarchist communist organisations and uh, I've now ended up in the anarchist communist group. And um, I think, you know, I'm impressed by the people in it and by the way it operates. Uh, I think after all these years of um, being involved in the movement, I see it as the um, the, the best uh, grouping that I, I've been involved in. Um, it's dynamic and it's really attempting to um, to spread the ideas of anarchist communism through propaganda and to be involved in, 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 in struggles themselves. So I remain an anarchist communist and I stand with the ACG. Thank you.